Hi, this is Patrick from SDH. Today we're gonna to do something that we normally don't do. We're gonna unbox a product, and that product is very exciting. It's the Intel Optane 380 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, which is something that I think a lot of our readers are really gonna like. Our SSD came in the kind of normal brown box that Intel ships a lot of its SSDs in. And so you have to kind of remove that box, and then inside the box you'll see the Intel Optane SSD retail packaging. And you're also gonna see that that retail packaging has some plastic wrap on it. So you have to do a little exercise just to get to something that looks nice. It's good for shipping to have all that extra packaging. It keeps the nice inter internal retail box safe, but it's kind of a pain to open up. The box itself has pretty de minimis specifications on the outside, you're gonna see that it says, hey, it's a PCIe 3x4 drive, it's an NVMe drive, it's 110 millimeter M.2 SSD, but there's not really a lot there other than a model number and a capacity of 380 gigabytes. That 380 gigabytes, by the way, is fairly substantial because if you think about Intel's M.2 drives to date, they've only gone up to the Intel Optane 800's 118 gigabytes. So this is a big capacity upgrade if you're looking for Optane and M2. Once you get the box open, you're gonna see that there's a manual inside, there's a drive in an ESD clamshell, and well, that's about it. If you're a warranty reading buff, there's some reading material in there, but otherwise, let's go open it up and take a look at the drive. So if you open up the ESD clamshell, which as you can see, I'm struggling with, but you finally get the drive out. And one of the things that you're gonna notice is that there is a large controller on the M2 drive. There's also Intel Optane or 3D Crosspoint packages, both on the top and the bottom. There's a total of seven packages for media. And that's a lot different. So what we decided to do is pull in the Intel Optane 800P 118 gig drive, and as you're gonna see, there's a lot less going on. It's a shorter 80 millimeter drive, and you only have packages on one side, you don't have a large controller, so this is a completely new class of device. And one of the big implications of this is that the M.2 110 millimeter drive slot is actually fairly common in servers. It allows you on a NAND SSD to actually have some power loss protection circuitry which you can see with the Samsung PM953 drive that we have pictured here. Um, but those 110 millimeter drives tend to be really slow. What we found when we tested the Intel Optane 905P 380 gig M2 drive was that it was actually very fast. You can check out the STH main site for a full review and see some more of the benchmark numbers. You, what you'll see in that review is that it's actually a great drive if you're looking for an ultra fast, high endurance NVMe SSD in your M2 slot, specifically if you have things like a ZFS intent log or a slog device, this is a great write caching application drive. It also has a lot of endurance, so you don't really have to worry about it wearing out. So check out the STH main site review in the link below. Thanks for watching. Check out the main site, check out more from STH on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel.